Hello people, this is Atomic Tofu here. I'm going to do a short, quick review of TT Hong Lee's PF01 Red Falcon. So, when I bought this guy, I, I was hoping he'd be overscaled to match the rest of the crew Robot Heroes. And, you know, I suspect that he's going to be tiny, smaller than they are. And he ended up being quite tiny for me. So here's Robot Heroes a star screen. And you can see how much smaller he is. Comes up below the chest, below the pecs, shoulders. It's about an inch and a half shorter, maybe? Two inches? An inch and a half. Something like that. Anyways, you can see how much he actually looks like Starscream. Orange, amber-ish chest, same way. Fins, forearms, hands being, of course, gray. Coloration on the lower legs. Spot on. The wings are almost the same as well. So you can see his wings are about the same as Robot Hero's Seekers. And of course he opens up a lot bigger if you want it to be so. Let's see. Opens up like this. And then I guess you could swing it up if you wanted to. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and mess around with the articulation. Ratchets, a bicep swivel. He's got a cool MMA style uh, gauntlet, I guess. Hand design, fist design. It's pretty nice. Head can go up and down. I think it's on a swivel. Side to side. No waist swivel at all. Side ratchets. Pretty tight. There's some up and down. You'll have to move out the uh, hip skirts to get better clearance. Nice clicky ratchets. Knee is on a friction joint. It's actually a double double hinge, I guess you could say. Or it's like a, he's got like a Megaton, Megatron style transformation for his legs. Press this in, depress it, and then slide it back. Like so. I believe the only part on this figure that is die cast are the feet. Nice. Shiny and pointy. Right. His beast legs are tabbed onto the back. Let's see if I turn some lights on on camera. Just bring this down. Bring this up. Turn it on. It's pretty nice. The wings do tab on to themselves on the back here. You can see that. It's nice and secure. Plastic is slightly on the thin side, like a model kit. But all in all, nice quality. Good detail. Good balance. So let's see what he's got for his uh, accessories. He's got some tampos. I probably won't mess around with those because I suck with those. 
he has got I guess his version of Mulberries. Two other heads. Let's see. Two other heads. Smirk. Stern. I'm guessing this would be eh, Grimace. That's a grimace. And he's got about, I would say, what is this? The base. Two swords. And ray effects. I guess that's what you call them, ray effects. So he's got two of these. And two of these. Now, I did transform this guy off camera previously. And I was hoping that uh, his bird or his beast mode, alt mode, could stand by itself. But for me, I couldn't get him to stand. He was just collapsing on his bird feet. He would just collapse down. Couldn't hold a pose at all. So I'm guessing if you want to pose him in alt mode, you actually do need to put him on his stand that you get. So that's all from me on this, as you can see. It is a great looking figure. A little tiny for my collection. He's tiny. Look at that. Tiny man. A tiny little guy. Right. That's it for me. Peace. Later.